Hey everybody, welcome back to another modded time warp. We're gonna, uh, this is the section where we look at various games from various different time periods. Uh, at the moment we're doing a uh, series of tiny little videos about uh, old Amiga games that Ali like, feels some nostalgia to. There will be other things with like MAME and Atari ST. We're going to be going through it as we go, they're little short videos. This time we're going for, a, we're, we're uh, blurring the line a little bit. We're going for something that was, personally I never heard, of, heard about before. I didn't know it existed, but um apparently it's quite good but really tacky at the same time uh what game are we going for ali captain planet and the planeteers which was released in 1990 and it follows the well it basically follows the cartoon of the same time there was a lot of um a lot of awareness about the environment so they made this and yeah go and look at the cartoon because it's all about four kids and they've each got a special ring with different elements and when they combine they become captain planet and he saves the world um it's captain planet he's our hero and he's going to take pollution down to zero no I'll, I'll go through my my um my left hand man stats uh, as you said before it was in the 1990s it also had other releases on the uh, nes uh, the amiga which is the version that we're going to be looking at today uh, the amstrad cpc and Ooh. the zx spectrum yeah, well, you said pretty much the plot of it, but uh, as we, as I was reading this, the thing that got, kind of got me, I'm just going to say this now, it says the final level allows the player to control Captain Planet, who must navigate to the end of the stage by using and swapping powers held in bubbles throughout the level. Before defeating one of the eco-villains, right, which is either Hoggish Greedly, yep. Dr. Blight yeah. and her computer Mal, Luton Plunder and his assistant Argos Bleak. Yeah. Or Duke Nukem. Yeah. Duke Nukem was in this game. Yeah, but hang on, hang on. Duke Nukem, you've got to remember also, Duke Nukem wasn't an original character by Apogee. They had to change the spelling. Because there was a Duke Nukem from Captain Planet. And there oh, was a not, copyright spelled... infringement. The original is Duke Nukem from Captain Planet, not Duke Nukem. That you know and love that was spelled with an e so there you go so you uh, from captain is the, planet is the original what so nukem from captain of planet was n-u-k-e-m yeah and they changed it to k-u-m for the game because they didn't want to infringe on copyright against captain oh. planet All right so while Stu's trying to rectify this situation because obviously it's em uh which one's em the Duke Nukem I know and love. Yeah, yeah. So hang on. So they had it, it was the UM, and they had to swap it to EM. It was one or the other. I couldn't remember. But if you look up Duke Nukem copyright Captain Planet, you'll find the whole story there. And while you do that, we're going to insert the disc. Listen to that sound. Here we go. It's the trainer. We don't like the trainer. Now I have to swap the inputs. It's all to do with the emulation. I won't bore you with it. But I have to do it again, and because I want you to share my dread of keep doing it, you're going to know about it. There we go. Uh, Amiga DOS, another trainer. Every game I've loaded up has a trainer, which is very annoying. Here we go. Skid Row. Skid Row's the trainer. Let's swap the ports again. There we go. And again because it won't emulate the keyboard on here so that disc is really reading that that's grinding away even though uh this is emulating it completely there's no disc that's reading but i just love that sound ah oh, here comes the music music's now loaded into ram beautiful listen to that synth and the Amiga did oh, have a really shit, good sound. Right, okay, no. I just, uh, sorry about that. I just read up a little bit uh, about it. Not that it matters, but uh, it was changed, but then they carried on using the normal spelling that we know and love because it wasn't copyrighted. Oh, there you so go then. The developer of the, the games that we know and love said, well, no, we want that. Yep. So then all future releases was EM. I'm so glad I, I, I helped you with that. I'd never realised. I'd never realised. Um, right. So sorry, we've got five characters here. We got f we got the four elements, and the fifth element, which is heart. So we got fire, water, wind, earth, and love. So I wouldn't say love is an element, though, would you? Uh, but in the fifth element, it was, wasn't it? 
Yeah, but ah. I know that. But what I mean is, no. Yeah. But anyway, we can't choose heart at the moment. So should we go with fire or water? I think we should go fire. Okay, we're going fire. And not only do you choose the character, but you choose the level. So if you do these five levels, then you become the big KP. The big CP, even. <laughs> not the KP. <laughs> Good save. Yeah. CP. The big KP. Big CP. So I've never played this game, so I don't know what the hell this is like. like... It's tragic. It is tragic. So you've got to go around, you've got to save these little monsters. And you have to jump. It also looks really bad quality. <laughs> yeah, it's just terrible. It's a true, awful game. It plays really sluggishly. The graphics are cheap and nasty. And it's oh, slow. Like, yeah. But that's just so, uh, that is the that is the game itself. What it's, is that blue thing that's following you? It's... That's a little monster I've just used the power of fire to save. So think oh, of the so little think of the enemies in Sonic. A really shit cheap version of that. I don't know what's coming out of those blocks. I don't know what they're for. The oh no, we don't want to go up there. See, so look, and you drop vertically. It's terrible. You see the all the brown blocks? They're like um, oh god, this is terrible. They are basically pollution, and we're taking that down to zero. Oh, oh I there. see how this is working. Yeah, so we, we get. So rid this of those. is the way that, that you save the planet by it's eradicating right. the pollution. Yeah, yeah. Would you say this is a classic? <laughs> no, but to me, it's it's very nostalgic because you know it's it's about these games are about what I played as a kid. Yeah, and I enjoyed this as a kid. I don't know why. Maybe because I, I did like the cartoon. You can't even shoot when you're jumping. Oh my goodness! And I can't crouch, so I can't go back. Well, how did you get there? Oh, you went over it, did you? Oh, we got another blue little womble. I'm gonna call them wombles. I think they're just points when you you kind of yeah. So yeah, we have to go around and do, I can't. Oh. Well, I don't. Well, that's a bit brutal, wasn't it? That's yeah. just a bit. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I don't know why I can do fire like that, and then you, I'm doing a flame. Oh, I don't know. Let's see whether I can make it to the end of the level. Oh no, I died again from a spinning disc of doom. Here we go. So, and you can see, look, at, look how lazy the textures are. I mean, everything about this game is shit. And yet, I loved it. And Did you finish it? Was this a game that you finished? I remember playing as Captain Planet, so yeah, I probably finished it. Oh my god, see, look. Oh, I died. So at least you take falling damage, so there is a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, but look, I, I can only... I've got a balloon, right? But I can't... How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to... Look, I, I fall vertically. You can't even, like... Oh, God. Uh, can the barrels... Can You You don't have to get on the top Here we go, one. here we go, here we go. Oh, right. It's just shit game mechanics. So, I've got these funny squares here. What they do is they give me more power. They don't, but I don't know what they do, so I'm going to make it up as I go along. These purple ones, uh, it's actually industrial waste. That's all industrial Is this all waste. true facts? Because I'm believing this right now. No, 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 it's not at all. I'm making it up as I go along. So these these green and blue blocks, there, the green and blue blocks are power. So Green and blue, green and red blocks. Green, no, well, yeah. Unless you're colourblind. Um, so we've got Frogman there, you see him? And he's got the disc of death. He likes to fire out discs and he likes to he likes to eat anything pure. He, he's firing out the discs and then eating them. Uh-huh. Did you he's see like, that? We're going to call him Captain Carbon Darkside. And here we've got What's shifty, this one? Shifty Whirlwind. This tasty little number. So yeah, and now they're my little minions of recycling and they help me. And even though I've, look, I've hit those blocks out, they're now trans translucent maybe and it's just tragic but we, we continue we keep going so how long do you think these game like games like this actually took to finish well they probably took less time to code than they did to finish I can't do anything against those discs so I've got to try and run away and it, but it's okay because they disappear for no apparent reason 
memory issues, probably. Thing so, is, as soon as he fires a disc, there's nothing you can do there. No. Nope. Do you get no. points for shooting your mates there? Unfortunately, no. Oh, no. And it makes a fireball when I hit... I don't understand it. Anyway, they're all following me. And I think if you don't die, the more you collect in one go, so the more points you get at the end. Because all the ones that I had when I... When I died, I'm now stuck in the level. So nothing. Oh, and I died again. That was crap. Um, and the, the tragedy about this game is that balloon you can only pop when you get to the top of it. It's tragic. But the problem with this game is it was made under duress. They yeah, there was no love put into this game, was no, there? It was. Not at all. They just wanted to get it out. Because, well, because of the cartoon. But at the same time, what's kind of weird about that, the cartoon had no longevity as well in the end. How many seasons were the cartoon? God knows, I think two or one. It wasn't long. It was pretty iconic at the time. Like, if every one of my generation seems to remember Captain Planet. So I don't. Now, I don't remember Captain Planet. That's the thing. I'd the only thing I remember... going to YouTube and watching Captain... Captain the only thing that I remember about Captain Planet is the... The main iconic picture. I say iconic; it's not really iconic, but oh, with him flying or doing a yeah, he like thing. you know, when his his hands are up, he's all metal. That's the only bit I remember. So I've got to come back out here because I can't go any further in that bit of the level. So now I have no idea what to do. So we're gonna that's it. Yeah, go out, go there. But the music's terrible, isn't it? It doesn't really suit. What's it's going on. I, I find the music quite grating. Like, no one likes a xylophone anyway. No. Like, it's a really brash instrument. But to have this kind of so loud and prominent in the soundtrack. Right, so there's a spaceship there. That, for some reason, that spaceship reminds me of Thanos from the Marvel Universe. It reminds it's me the colour. Something that's completely inappropriate. Sorry, what? It's completely inappropriate for this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's the planeteer's ship. So I can, like, press up, like I'm jumping on these blocks and get points for no reason. Oh, I don't know what they were. So I'm just gonna Wait, so you're just literally farming points now? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. And that's fine, because I can't get up there. Am I going to walk funny? Here we go. Ah, oh, I've got to use the balloon. Get on the cloud. Let's try that. No. How did you use the balloon before? Does he have no, to I charge did. up or something? No, I jumped and then... Double jump? There is no double jump. Okay, so we go back here. Look, why is that even working? So in our last episode, we were talking about uh, if a game got shipped with glitches, then it was done for. Uh, this is level one and... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah. oh yeah, right. Okay, you can get on a cloud here. I, I take it back. The thing is, though, if you fall, you are absolutely fucking screwed. Oh no, because I got mate. that shit balloon. That he just gets out of his ass when he least needs it. So I'm going up the clouds here. And, like, completely backwards on the level now. Again, more... Oh, there we go. More did lazy you, level Did design. you bring that balloon no, 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 out? Or does it, it do no, it automatically? It, it did. It did. So it's like, oh no. Oh. It's a save. It's terrible, really. Right, so we have to go all the way out the level to come back into it then to go back down again oh dear oh dear i'm hating this game it's this not part not of the trainer is it no because that off. seems like an absolute cheese it doesn't really matter what you do you'll always be safe how lazy that is look how long that what is that they could have split them up and done a few jumps That is su yeah, that is such lazy design. Oh right, so and I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to move on to the water character now. Okay. I yeah, as I say, I, I, I'm no, not enthralled by the fire. I didn't know if this was a hack. No, no, no. Oh, we're so going to see right, some sort of like grossly inappropriate message in a minute. So ice floor, fire, down and far is low floor. What? Clean the water, fill the pools, free the fucking dolphins. See, now this, the textures on here are a lot better, aren't they? Ah! 
Oh, look at the cars. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Whoa. Pop it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, and I can slide. Okay. So do you actually have an attack? It's the ice. Because it seems like they're just... No, I fire platforms. the ice. They're platforms and they fire a shockwave. This music is fucking awful. Okay, so let's make a bridge. Up, fire. Up, oh no. Up, fire. Oh, no, I was able to hit, hit shoot him. Okay. This is shit. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to hit the stuff. The stuff's going to hit me. That was a good save, mate. That was a good save. I'm getting into it now. You can do this. You, you oh can my do God. it. Oh. Oh. What? So you what died from getting on the pole? Greased the pole. I literally looked like I greased it. I thought that was a platform. Obviously it's not. See, look at that mechanic. You can't stop. You, it's like a fixed jump. And you... Wow. I'm just going to go this way now. I got electrocuted by a floor cannon. Okay, so... I know how you feel. No sleeping on the job. I can't help it. It's just... It's that music. It's just sending me off. I, I don't know what it is. It's just... It's just too... Mindscape was one of the many third-party publishers of NES games that had a reputation of releasing low-quality products. I failed again. So how do you unlock the other ones? Do you have to finish, yeah, yeah, like, some levels. levels? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. I'm trying one more time with the Water Woman because... I'm gonna I'm gonna go on eBay. I'm gonna find a physical copy of this game and burn it. <laughs> just, just buy it, snap it, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. This would have been bloody awful with a joystick. It's bad enough with an Xbox One controller. I'm gonna get the fish. It's a dragon's c Oh no, no! Oh. What happened there? Oh, oh my hit No, that's fucking shit. What are they? Like pole runners, look, they're loving it. Oh yeah, let's get alleys. Going up the pole. Go near the pole. We like to grease poles. Yeah. Oh god. Here we go. That's going to kill me. I have a feeling. So you've got all that way just to be blocked by that, which it... That's stupid. And I was purple. So I assume, now I've got a bit more information about this game, that I need to... Uh, that disc is going to hit me. It's going to hit me. You fucking twat. I assume I need to actually get on the on the on the ship. Oh Jesus! If you die, you start back up there, or you can go. All right, I need to get on the fucking cloud. Oh God! No. You had a life. You had a life in hand. I know. I know. Right. What? Well, I... I'm not playing that anymore because I'm going to smash my screen. That was a lot of money. So I think we should talk about it. <laughs> okay. I don't. Let's go. Have you turned the, turn the music off at least? Yeah, yeah music's off now. But um, look, look, boys and girls, look at that. I mean, that is a true travesty of a game. Everything's broken on it. And the Amiga is really, was really powerful for its time. There's some, it's just, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter what generation it is. Some guy gets hold of a game and goes, well, we're going to milk this license and put zero effort in. And then they come out with this. It's just. The thing is that it happens too often. It's you know, game, the the gaming industry is rife with things like this. You get like um, even in today's age, you get developers like Play It, you know, um, yeah, yeah. and you know, real low low budget games. Sometimes you... they make really good, you know, good versions. Like Play It have done. I think they've done a pool game, which is actually all right. You know, it's good, but they they just care about getting the product out on the shelf, and they you know. It doesn't, you know, the least amount of money that they can spend, brilliant. They make a cheap game, they're going to sell more. 
Do you know what's really bucked the trend, though? I think the, the, the main game for me in recent history that bucked the trend was the Arkham series. Oh, yeah. Okay, it wasn't based on a movie, but it was based on, um, you know, it's based on a big comic book franchise, and they did a, oh, those games are excellent. I've played all of them through to completion. Um, they're really, really good. But most the new games. Arkham Knight. Well, I yeah, say new. But, he, but the, he, Arkham the Asylum one. is still incredible. Mm. You know, they all are. They're all really good. Even Arkham Origins, which people don't, you know, they're, they're not saying it's the favourite, but certainly... Well, Arkham um, Origins was by it w- was by a different developer. Yeah, yeah. But it's, I, they still did a good job with it. And I just feel that, you know, you go back to this time period, and it's tragic, but I'm thinking about the Amiga and look at Batman that we yeah. are going to do in the future. And that was a really good game um, based on a movie. Uh, what about your experiences with movie games when you were a kid? Because for me, it was Captain Planet and Batman were like the two big ones. With like video game to movie like crossovers, um, things like Batman and uh, Batman Returns was good. One for me was Batman Forever. I like, never played that. Oh man, Batman Forever! When that came out with the film on the Mega Drive, that I would spend absolute hours. And my parents got me the collector's edition when I was young. I was really young. It was the collector's edition, and it had it was the Mega Drive version, it, big box like the old PC games. But like, I, it's it's tough for me to say because I I'm instantly put off by games of of movies or games of TV series. Like I've not played the Iron Man games. Yeah, oh, um, yeah, yeah. Do you mean like the 360 ones with Iron Man? I, I just I'm not interested in them because there's a Captain America one, and I'm just not interested because I just know then. They just rush them out before a movie release. Yeah, exactly. And it's just that's just not my thing. Um, and this, this Captain Planet kind of it reinforces my original opinion. Should we do the rating? Let's go. Right. Okay. So I need graphics. Graphics two. Two. That yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. They haven't well, got. They haven't got any of the scrolling effects that a lot of uh, what was it called? Parallax scrolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's clunky. The frame rates out of sync. The textures are shit. Uh, the the effects didn't take advantage of the Amiga's hardware. The uh, pixel art sloppy. None of it makes sense thematically. Where do I stop? What about story? Now I know this could be a redeeming quality of it because it does have a good, like, it has a good message behind it. No, the cartoon story's fine. But if you, again, but, link the story to the graphics, think... what are you doing? You're using fire to burn what? Yeah, Waste. It, it, does it portray it well? No. So, uh, really, it's... Uh, you've, all you've got is that text at the start saying, do this and do that and save the planet. We're going to now inject you with LSD and it's not going to look like real life at all. There's you. You have to suspend belief beyond it. You might as well inject yourself a couple of times and that game will probably make more sense. <laughs> One out of ten. Replayability. <laughs> One out of ten. Really? I'd rather get cramp again. I'd rather have... Because when I get cramp, ladies and gents, in my leg at night, uh, which I got last night and had to wake up and stamp it out, um, I'm still in pain now. I'd rather keep that pain for another day than play that game. There's nothing there. It's just... It, it's the whole ensemble of of steaming shit that makes me want to buy this game off ebay and then burn it so i feel it's quite a lot of aggression here is is that because of how much you were just dicked over it it's how it's broken my nostalgic memory of it as well see that's that's the thing because obviously i was in love with the cartoon when i was a kid so i was blindsided by that while playing the game consciously or subconsciously you know kids are kids and then i come back to it and it's like a metaphorical sledgehammer repeatedly hitting me in the temple and it's manipulated and molded my memory into some nightmarish terror. I, one out of 10. I don't know what it was, but it's a one out of 10 now. It's just, uh, that means it got one out of 10. Oh no, you haven't gone about the music. Have you? That's what I should do. Like, I'm, I think I'm just going to, as I was, I'm going to rewrite this. So music, write... I'm going to go into music, music, what, you've got the same riff over and over again. No, 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 no. Let's let's do a review system right now. Let's The review that we had 
it, there's lines being crossed here. So let's do a, an actual one that's the proper review system. So what are we going to go first? Graphics. Graphics, right. One out of ten. One. Next one? Sound. Sound. One out of ten. <laughs> right. Gameplay. One out of ten. No. Gameplay? One, one out of ten. Yeah. You wait until you play it. And you try I'm and do not, the same jump. Oh, play it. You only need to. Just for, for you to, you shouldn't have said one out of ten. Because that's <laughs> opened you up. That's a Pandora's box you cannot close now, my old Sunny Jim. We can open it together. Okay, graphics, sound, gameplay. Yeah. Uh something to do with the mechanics of the game we need. So mecha oh, uh, poli polished uh, Polish, that was yeah. it. One out of ten. Sound like a broken so record, polish, don't I? And last one. Uh my name's Ali, one out of ten. <laughs> do you what do you want polish story 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 okay or atmosphere well slash yeah because i think some games have a certain atmosphere for the for the game and they don't need the story and vice versa so one out all of right. ten is it literally one out of ten from yeah all? yeah 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 so hang on what's the score then five right and then minus five four out of 50. off then minus four off why minus four? Special dispensation for destroying my nostalgic memory. Oh, no, that's another one. Yeah. Nostalgia. Yeah, we need nostalgia. A nostalgia rating. Minus four out of ten. That should get that down to one out of, one out of, 50, one out of 60. <clears throat> my, minus five out of ten. That will give you, yeah. So it's that by itself is a one out of ten, but then it overrides it to a minus five out of ten to give the whole fucking game one out of 60. We, we'll have a plus and minus slider, shall we? Hi, my so name's Ali. Get, broken you... record, one out of ten. One no, out no. Ten. With the nostalgia rating, right, you can gain or lose five points, or up to. Minus so it starts five. At zero. Yeah. Zero means it was all right. It's like a, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So you want minus five for the nostalgia. Yeah. So we'll keep it out of 50, but the special nostalgia, you like you say, can gain or look right. So, so, so basically, it's... graphics, one. Yeah. Sound, one. Gameplay, yeah. one. Polish one, yeah. atmosphere one. That's five out of fifty. With the modifier, that's zero. <laughs> yeah. So I definitely so can't means... get. It. Can I get it into a negative any other way? No, it's impossible to get a negative for this. Because okay. it's it, if you went into negatives, that means that you literally could do better. <laughs> I could. I could make a better game in basic, Visual Basic, right? In fact, I did make a better game than that. At a level computing than what they've made if you went into minus figures that means that i could make a better game than that i'm sure you can maybe so yeah basically captain planet and the planeteers gets a big fat zero. Oh, and please please someone out there tell me i'm wrong i'd love to hear that my my <laughs> challenge to you is wow. if you think that i was harsh about this game that's fine you can disagree, of course you can, but you need to convince me why it should have more points than the already generous zero that it's been given. So leave your comments down below. Okay, so let me let me just write this out. Captain Planet. One out of ten, and the Planeteers. No, it got zero out of fifty. So I know. Zero well, I've been saying one out of ten so much. You know, uh, it's, this, it's this sort of thing. It's, you know, they say gin's a mother's ruin. No, Captain Planet the Planeteer's a mother's ruin. That could turn you to drink. Because all I want to do now is have a nice big fat gin to take away the memory of what I've just... Oh, come on. God. And I can't believe you, you said... played that. One out of ten? I can't believe you said that. We're definitely getting you to play it till the end. I want you to complete it. We're going to do this again. I couldn't do it. I don't have the patience. I'd just no, be like, fuck this. You'd have a I'd new entrance to your lounge if you did. You'd literally... Like, I'd just hulk it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> We've been Modded Gossip, as always. Uh, I'm Stu. I'm, I'm the Claw. Said Ali. Yeah, I'm, I'm the Stu. Claw. Uh, he's one out of ten. Yeah, I'm Ali. One out of ten. The Claw. Uh, Ali. <laughs> but, yeah, we've been Modded Gossip. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, people that we love are scrolling at the bottom. You want to get in touch on Twitter? Help yourself. Get involved, focus and forward. We've been Modern Gossip. Good night. Bye-bye.